In this video, we will implement stacks using linked list in Python. We will create a Python file and give it a name as stacks linked. The first statement we will use is from exceptions import empty. This empty class is used for handling the exceptions. We will create a class linked stack. And then since linked list contains nodes, we will create an inner class known as node. This inner class will have slots as the class member and it is assigned two instance variables that is element and next. We will define an init method for node class and this init method takes in two parameters element and next. The statements of this init method would be self dot underscore element equal to element. The other statement would be self dot underscore next equal to next. We will now create an init method for the linked stack class. First statement would be self underscore head equal to none. And the next statement is self dot underscore size equal to zero. That is we are initializing head to none as well as size of the stack to be zero. We will create a length method. This length method will return self dot underscore size. We will define an is empty method. This method will return true or false depending upon the size of the stack. We will now write a push method which takes in one parameter that is element e. The first statement in the push method would be self dot underscore head equal to self dot underscore node and pass the value of the element e and the reference as head that is self dot underscore head. Then the next statement would be self dot size equal to self dot size plus one. That is we are incrementing the size of the stack. The other method of the stack ADT is pop. We will define pop method and first statement would be to check if the stack is empty. So we will write if self dot is empty then raise exception using the empty class followed by the statement value equal to self dot head dot element and then the next statement would be self dot head equal to self dot head dot next. We will now decrement the size of the stack. So we will use self dot size equal to self dot size minus one and finally return the value of the popped element. The next method of the ADT would be to define top. In top also we will check whether the stack is empty. If the stack is empty we will raise an exception. That is using the empty class we will say stack is empty. Then we will return self underscore head dot element. We will define a display method though it's not part of the ATT but this method is useful to check the elements in the stack. We will use temp as a temporary head and assign the value of self dot underscore head. Then we will use a while statement while temp print temp dot element and use the end keyword to have an arrow and then move temp to temp dot next. We will use a print statement. This print statement will display a blank line. We will create an object ls of linked stack. We will use ls.push with the element 10. Subsequently, we will push element 20, element 30 and element 40. And then let us display the stack using ls.display. We will then pop out the element. So we will use print comma. We will use ls.pop. This will return the popped element and we will print the element which has been popped. We will again display the stack and then again push the element 70 and display the stack. Then we will demonstrate the working of the top method. So we will use print top element and ls dot top. And then we will again pop out a value using ls dot pop and then display the stack using ls.display. We will execute this program and we will see the very first thing is we have inserted four elements that is 10, 20, 30, 40 
40 being the head. So we are popping the element. So 40 will be popped out. And now the stack is 30, 20 and 10, 30 being the top element. We will push 70 and element 70 will be added on top of 30. Since we have called the top method, top returns the top of the stack that is 70. And then we were popping out. So 70 is the top element. It will be popped out. And now the stack will be 30, 20 and 10. This is how a stack program is implemented using linked list in Python.